Welcome back, true crime enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into a chilling and disturbing cannibal story that shocked the world. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, so you never miss our deep dives into the darkest corners of human history. Our story begins in 1949 in Kobe, Japan where Issei Sagawa was born into a wealthy family. Despite his privileged upbringing, Sagawa's early life was marked by fragility and introversion, with a fascination for literature taking root. His disturbing desires, however, manifested early, with cannibalistic thoughts dating back to his first grade years. As Sagawa matured, his unsettling desires grew. At 24, he attempted a horrifying act in Tokyo, and though caught by the police, he avoided severe consequences thanks to his influential father. Later, in 1977, Sagawa moved to Paris where he continued to harbor dark thoughts and even attempted to harm sex workers. The most gruesome chapter in Sagawa's story unfolded on June 11, 1981, when he lured his Sorbonne classmate, René Hardevelt, to his apartment under the guise of translating poetry. What transpired next is beyond comprehension. Sagawa shot, raped, and cannibalized Hartvelt over several days. Sagawa's heinous crime didn't go unnoticed. Arrested by French police, he was initially found legally insane and unfit for trial. After being deported to Japan, psychologists deemed him sane, leading to his release in 1986. The lack of access to French court documents meant Sagawa remained a free man. The aftermath of Sagawa's release is equally unsettling. From 1986 to 1997, he became a celebrity in Japan, making public appearances and even starring in an exploitation film. His attempts at writing and employment faced severe backlash, with publishers and employers reluctant to associate with him. In 2005, Sagawa's parents passed away, leaving him to face the harsh realities of life alone. Welfare benefits and struggles for employment defined his later years. His health deteriorated, and he eventually succumbed to complications of pneumonia on November 24, 2022, at the age of 73. Issei Sagawa's life was marked by unimaginable darkness, leaving a trail of horror that continues to disturb and perplex us. If you found this deep dive into true crime intriguing, make sure to like this video and share it with fellow crime enthusiasts. If you have a case you'd like us to cover, or if you have thoughts on today's episode, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next chilling episode.